Hello Pokemon Trainers! Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Battle Stadium Singles video here on iStarly TV. This is part of my Road to Master series where I try to climb the online ranked Battle Stadium Singles ladder. And today we have a brand new team and for the first time in a while, I haven't done this in a while, I am actually featuring a team that I did not make. So just some background on this team. The creator of this team I believe is Japanese. And so I'm going to put the link down below to the post that they made. Of course, I do not read Japanese at all. So I saw this from a Smogon post. Someone posted about this core that I'm going to talk about in a second. And they linked to the, the person who created this core and therefore this team. Um, again, the, their, their uh, post is in Japanese. And, you know, Google Translate doesn't do a great job of, you know, translating everything one to one. There's a lot of parts where things don't make sense and I think a big reason for that is because you know when they're translating Pokemon names but also move names obviously it does not translate over 100% so sometimes it's very difficult to understand even with Google Translate um, so I'll try to make the best out of you know the team it looks like a really good team and I, I practiced a little bit with it and it's pretty strong definitely so I'll kind of do my best to, to do the team justice um, unfortunately I don't know the creator's name um, but again, I'll post the information about all the all the stuff about, all the information about the team and everything in the description below. So, as you'll see now, the team it, it looks like the core that is being highlighted here is Aloma Mola and Whimsicott, as well as Chiyu. That seems to be like the main core of the team. Basically, by core, what it means is like they're they're Pokemon that function really well together. They complement each other really nicely, and they can kind of win a game uh, together. And in testing with these Pokemon, yeah, they do look really good. <laughs> um, and so I'll try to remember. I think I remember all the EVs for these Pokemon. So first we have a Loma Mola, which is actually a Pokemon that seems like it's been rising a lot in usage lately in Battle Stadium singles. You know, it's something that we never really saw, although I, I believe it was probably introduced with the Indigo Disc DLC, but it does seem like it's it's seeing a lot of play these days. It's extremely tanky and it has Regenerator as its ability, so you can just kind of switch into things, you know, being a water type, it naturally resists a lot of important moves, uh, a lot of important types such as Urshifu's water type moves, Chen Pao's ice type moves, stuff like that, and neither of those Pokemon have super effective moves to hit it. And so it just kind of walls them. It has Scald, so it could possibly burn them. It has Flip Turn to get the, the initiative, so it can kind of switch out against Pokemon that would give it trouble. And then it has Aqua Jet to kind of pick things off. It's not a strong Pokemon at all, but like, like offensively, but defensively it is very tough to take down. And then we have Mirror Coat uh, with the Assault Vest. So yeah, I've faced this Pokemon on ladder, and it, I don't like seeing it. It's a Pokemon that I do not like seeing because it's just so hard to take down. Um, though it is a little predictable now, I mean, it, like I said, it just kind of comes in, tanks a hit, and then flip turns out of there and gets the regenerator. Um, we've got Terra Poison, I'm assuming, to be able to resist grass type moves as well as fighting type moves, which are which are popular. Of course, we're not weak to fighting, but still. And then, of course, being, being a Terra Poison type, we cannot be poisoned ourselves, which is also really important. Then we have, well, uh, sorry, we also resist uh, Fairy from like Fluttermane, so you know that's also pretty good. Then there is a very unique Dragonite set. This one is loaded dice with Scale Shot. However, it has Scale Shot and Iron Head with a Terra Steel type. That makes sense. However, it has Fire Spin and Encore as its last two moves. This is something I have not seen. Basically, a hybrid of the like offensive Dragonites that typically run Dragon Dance and the kind of like annoying like. Dra trapping Dragonites that try to trap the enemy with Fire Spin and then like Encore them into bad moves and like paralyze them. So this is like a, a weird hybrid of those. I think it has max attack and then it has a lot of HP investment as well as some speed investment as well. So it'll be interesting to try this out. Then we have... Uh, sorry, <laughs> then we have Choice Specs Chiyu, which is a really strong Pokemon. This is another Pokemon that has been rising a lot in usage. I believe it's the 11th most used Pokemon in the meta and has been for a good while now. So it's definitely risen up quite a bit. Uh, it's right on the verge of that top 10 and it's just really strong. Like not only does it hit really hard, it has a really good typing, but also its ability, Beads of Ruin, lowers the enemy's special defense on top of that. So in addition to already having just a good uh, special attack stat, 
You're also weakening the enemy's special defense, so you're also just doing extra damage. And with choice specs, obviously you hit harder. We'll get to Whimsicott in a second, but Whimsicott has Tailwind, so the goal is to like set up Tailwind. And then with Chiyu, you outspeed pretty much everything, I believe. I think I something that did translate was in the post they said that you do outspeed uh, Booster Energy Iron Bundle in Tailwind, which is pretty much the fastest thing in the meta. Um, Fluttermane is one point slower than that, so you also outspeed Fluttermane with Booster Energy. Then we've got Choice Scarf or Shifu. This is Dark Type or Shifu, which is the least or the lesser of the the le the least common of the two, um, but still a good Pokemon for sure. And with Choice Scarf, obviously that puts us in a good position. After that, we've got Archiladon, a really interesting Arch set with Sturdy as the ability. Terra Ghost, which is interesting. Obviously, that means that we can we can end up being immune to fighting type moves that would otherwise be super effective against us. And then we have uh, Draco Meteor and Flash Cannon, which are there to hit hard. Mirror Coat, which with Sturdy allows us to take a lot of damage from maybe like a really strong special attack and then deal all that damage back to the enemy. So I, I imagine maybe like a situation against possibly Ursa Luna, we take a huge hit from it and then we can Mirror Coat and, uh, you know, basically kill it. Then we also have Stealth Rock, which is also pretty good on Arch. And finally, the Jaboka Berry, which is an interesting item. I think what Jaboka Berry does is if you get knocked out, it deals a little bit of damage to the enemy. So it's kind of like the Aftermath ability that some Pokemon like Stunky and Electrode have. Finally, there's the Whimsicott. It's max HP and max defense. Terra Steel, we've got a Rocky Helmet item. Something I realized that Whimsicott is perfect against something like Urshifu, uh, Water Urshifu, well actually both Urshifus, <laughs> because it's a fairy type so it resists dark, it resists fighting, and then it's a grass type so it resists water. Its typing's all, just in general really strong, like, like there's a few things that are really good against it. Um, of course we are weak to fire and Terrastalizing does not help that, but we do have a Loma Mola to take fire type hits. And in testing, this feels like kind of the breakout star for me. Like, I hadn't really considered much of Whimsicott in singles. I know it's a Pokemon that is often used in doubles, but it's really tanky. It's pretty tanky, and then with Rocky Helmet, you get that residual damage. Leech Seed is great for racking up even more damage and, and give, getting some health back. Um, Encore is also really good, especially with Priority with Prankster, because if the opponent goes for like a really weak move, you just lock them into it with Encore, which is great. Uh, Moonblast for damage, and then of course Tailwind is there to support the other Pokemon on our team, notably Chiyu, which allows us to outspeed everything. So... There's the interesting team, a lot of unique Pokemon and unique sets, um, but it looks like the person, I, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I think the person who built this team got top 16 with this team, I believe last season, so that's really good. <laughs> uh, definitely better than I've ever done. Uh, so we're going to try it out, see how it does, and let's get to those games. And here we have our first game of the day. Opponent's team is pretty pretty standard, pretty tr traditional. Um, the first thing I notice is that Aloma Mola looks pretty good here. They have a lot of offensive Pokemon, so I do think the combo of Aloma Mola and Whimsicott is going to be pretty good here. And of course, once again, these two Pokemon cover each other's weaknesses pretty nicely. So it's almost like whatever the opponent goes into, we have something to, to tank hits from. Um, I wonder, because typically I, I worry when I bring just a lot of defensive Pokemon and not enough offense. I, I worry that I can finish the game, but Chiyu does look like it could do a good job of finishing the game here. Um, so I think I want to bring those three, and it looks like that's pretty well covered. Um, otherwise, Dragonite... Dragonite looks okay here, definitely. Um, my big concern is that... that we, or Bre no, I was going to say Breloom, but Breloom's actually not that scary. Dragonite can outspeed it. Actually, can it? But Dragonite can kill it with Scale Shot before it can spore me, and then Whimsicott also cannot be spored and resists, like, well, all of its moves. But I think I'm just going to go ahead and bring what I said. Um, I think it's somewhat likely they lead with Breloom. So I'm going to bring it like that, and we're just going to see how it goes. I mean, this is like the main core that I was talking about, so I guess it's good to test it out here um, on this first game. I built this core, and, and then I built, like, a team with three other Pokemon, and I tested that out, like I played a few games on Showdown, and, and it felt fun. And then I built this exact team with this core and the same three other Pokemon. 
And I think I only played like one or two games, but either way, my opponent leads with Chen Pao here. It's pretty obvious, but I think I will just go right into Aloma Mola. If my opponent makes a big prediction right away, I mean, I don't know. It is what it is. Like, we'll see how, how, how luck plays out for me in that situation. But we're going to go ahead and switch out the Whimsicott. Go right into Aloma Mola, expecting the uh, Water-type move here. I'm sorry, the, the Ice-type move. And they do just go Ice Shard. Interesting. So now I'm just going to go ahead and flip turn. If they Terrasolize their Life Orb, good information. Um, if they Terrastalize and go Terra Electric, I don't know, we might survive that, probably not though. Um, but also, again, it just like gives us that information. So we're gonna flip turn out of here. And honestly, this is extremely annoying, I, I recognize. I think I'm gonna go right back into a Loma Mola here. Or do we expect them to predict? Honestly, I'm just going to Moonblast. I think I live in Ice Shard because I am max HP, max defense. Okay, I do live in Ice Shard, though honestly not that well. <laughs> but this should kill them now. And if it doesn't kill them, we just go right back into a Loma Mola. And uh, they die to Life Orb. So we're in a good spot there. So getting a kill on Qian Pao is really nice. Especially since right now, we are going to be faster than whatever they go into because we have Prankster. Um, if they go Gold Dango, we also kind of can answer that as well. They go Dragonite. Um, I think I just Leech Seed here. This is just fine by me. Like, them setting up is a little scary, but they cannot Scale Shot. Um, Extreme Speed is just fine by me because they'll take some um, Rocky Helmet damage. They do just knock me out with Fire Punch. That is fine. Yeah, because we break their multi-scale either way. And then... Huh... What do we do now? Do we go Chi Yu when they're likely to go for Earthquake? Or do we go a Loma Mola? If we go a Loma Mola, we would probably have to flip turn. They would probably switch, honestly. Actually, I'm dumb. Chi Yu's naturally faster than Dragonite. We do have some um, defense EVs. But I think a Dark Pulse should do a lot of damage here. I guess something that could be scary is if they Terrastalize and go for, um, like, Extreme Speed. If they go Terra Normal into Extreme Speed. I think I just Terra here, right? Like, what is a Loma Mola afraid of? I guess one Pokemon that's actually not, I, I wouldn't be happy to see is going to be that Ogre Pond. So, yeah, I actually don't think I Terra just yet here. Like, Terra would probably guarantee a kill here, but we are also Choice Specs. Alright, they switch. If they go Breloom, I kind of feel like I just two-hit KO them. And if they don't have Breloom, yeah, they're going to take a lot of damage here. That's a lot of damage. I mean, duh, I just said that. I'm pretty sure I live a Moonblast. The problem is... Huh. This is actually a little scary. I'm just going to switch here. This might be a huge mistake on my part. But, I mean, I don't know. Kind of don't know what I'm doing in this situation. They're Terra, okay. That's going to be an offensive Terra, either Fairy or Stellar, probably. They probably expected this switch, too. Yeah, that, yeah it's Fairy. I guess that could have been a defensive one. But this is going to mean that their Moonblast is going to do a lot of damage. Oh man, yeah, this is actually a little rough. I don't know if I can take two. Yeah. What do we do now? I, oh, I have to, um, I have to Terra. And then... Probably Scald into Aqua Jet. Oh man. Because if I, if I don't Terra and I, and I go like Aqua Jet, I don't know that I kill them with Aqua Jet. And then if they don't die... Right, I, I don't know. Do I kill them with Aqua Jet? I should probably calc that. I don't think I have enough time to calc it, though. If I if I die here and I have to go into Chiyu, I basically lose the game because they're going to be faster than me. So I do think... I do think I have to Terra. We're going to see how much Skull does. I'm going to want to calc it, though, because... If I could just knock them out with the Aqua Jet without Terrastalizing, that makes it more likely I win this game, because then I can go Terra Dark with Chiyu, 
and do massive damage to Dragonite. But I should live this Moonblast. I hit them with the Scald, and then Aqua Jet probably picks them off. Yeah, we barely survived. Nice. Yeah, just seeing how much damage that first um, Moonblast did, I was pretty confident that I would live with, with by resisting it, of course. You know, something that could be really bad here is if my opponent switches. But then I just switch if that's the case. Alright, we kill them. Now the problem is they can Dragon Dance. So... The problem also is that we've shown them three of our moves. So they might not be afraid of just setting up a Dragon Dance here. I have to flip turn now. I hope they just kill me. I hope they just Earthquake or Extreme Speed. But if they set up a Dragon Dance, we could just lose this game. Let's go flip turn. I guess I could have Scalded to potentially burn them. Maybe that was the better play. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. I mean, now I have to hope that Chiyu kills them, which is not guaranteed. I should be faster, though, so there's a chance I could, I could flinch them. Or there's a chance, which is probably not going to happen, where if I, if I take an extreme speed well... Um, like, if I can survive two extreme speeds, then then I'm good to go either way, but if they have Earthquake, they're probably just going to go for it. Yeah, we definitely just go Dark Pulse here. If they go Earthquake? Okay. Yikes. All right, here it is, everyone. Oh, so close. <laughs> Dang. All right. that That's GG. All right, that's fine. I mean, we did our best. Um, that was one of those... I, I probably... I do feel like there was probably... I, I feel like there was a lot of decisions I made that worked. That worked out. Like, preserving my Chi Yu's life total was very important there. Um, man, that Dark Pulse was, Dark Pulse was so close. Okay, I'm going to have to... I'm going to calc it right now. The whole uh, Aloma Mola versus uh, Fluttermane thing. Let's see. Okay, so I just calced it. Now, I entered Fluttermane with no... HP or defense investment, which to be honest, now that I think about it, I actually don't remember if we saw booster energy on their Fluttermane. I don't think we did. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't believe we saw booster energy, which means that that makes it more likely that they were probably like choice specs or something, which is honestly a little rough here because the calc says that um, Aqua Jet would have done 23 to 27%, which I do believe would have killed them. Maybe it's not 100%, but they were at about... They were at about a little bit... It looked like a little bit less than a fourth of their health. I, I, I don't fully remember, but I'll have to look back on that. But yeah, 23 to 27%, whereas Skull does under 20%. Um, so there there was actually a chance I, I would have knocked them out with Aqua Jet, which means I could have won that game. Unless they have... If they have some HP or defense investment, then Aqua Jet would not have knocked them out. So you never know. That's the thing is like... Maybe I should have gone for Aqua Jet. Maybe it was the right play to Terrasilize. The thing is, the, the only way we win that game... So basically, with the careful planning I did in that game, I still lost, right? So it was probably worth it to try the Aqua Jet. I mean, of course, hindsight is twenty twenty, but it's probably worth it to Aqua Jet, go for the kill. If I do kill them, I basically win the game. Because at that point, um, they, you know, go into Dragonite. If Dragonite knocks me out, then I go into Chiyu. And I can go Terra Dark, which means that the Dark Pulse definitely kills them because it gets the damage boost. However, if the opponent had Dragon Dance on their Dragonite and they made the choice to set up a Dragon Dance in my Aloma Mola's face, then, you know, then then I could then I would have definitely lost. So I I lost, and it was a very close game. I could see some decisions that I could have made that would have won me the game. But I could also see that those very same decisions still could have led to me losing the game if my opponent played things differently as well. So you never know. Um, this is one of those games where it feel like, feels like I did everything I could. It feels like I did my best. And it just lined up that I lost. So either way, that was fun. The team, the that core looked really good. So let's go to game two. We have a game number two. My opponent has Smeargle. I love Smeargle, but playing against it is rough because it's potentially very annoying. They probably have hazards, either Stealth Rock or Sticky Web. They could also have like Stone Axe, which is Cleavor's uh, signature move that does damage but also sets up Stealth Rock. They also could have Spore, they could have Baton Pass with no retreat. So there's really a lot that they could have. I kind of feel like 
in all of those situations, it does feel like Whimsicott might be the best um, to take on Smeargle because it cannot be spored. If they have Stone Axe, they're going to take some Rocky Helmet damage. Um, if they have Baton Pass, we can Leech Seed them, which would... Uh, they would pass the Leech Seed, but also I could Encore them. So yeah, I think I'm going to lead with Whimsicott. Aloma Mola looks okay. I mean, they also have Dundazo, which is kind of like the original Aloma Mola in Scarlet and Violet. I definitely do not like Dundazo. Chiyu... Chi looks strong here. If I can get off a Dark Pulse, they actually don't have anything that resists Dark Pulse. So if I can force a switch and set a, and go for Dark Pulse, that could do massive damage. But I think I also like um, Duralid or um, Archelodon. I don't know if that's correct though. Yeah, I'm gonna go for that. I don't want to go for my physical attackers mainly because of that Dundazo, but. I shouldn't let just Dundazo hold me back from those because Dragonite and Urshifu are good against other Pokemon on the enemy's team. So I don't know, like Dragonite would be really good against Ogre Pond, uh, could be decent against Fluttermane depending on the situation. We'll just have to see. I am really liking this Whimsicott though. They lead uh, Ogre Pond, which tells me that they probably expected um, me to lead with Whimsicott. So I got got. <laughs> That's fine. Let's just start with... Let's just start with a Tailwind. If they Cudgel... I actually don't think Cudgel makes contact, so they won't take Rocky Helmet damage. If they kill me, though, I just go into, uh, into Chiyu. And as I identified, my opponent does not have a resist for Dark Pulse. So honestly, this feels like a situation where I could just go Terra and just spam Dark Pulse. And they don't have a good switch into this. And since Tailwind is up, I'm faster than everything. So let's go ahead and do that. If we can get a knockout or two with this, that's amazing. I, I shouldn't count on that though. Like I shouldn't expect that to be the case. But if that happens, then that's amazing. We should be able to get one knockout here, right? Because again, whatever they go into is going to take some massive damage. If they stay in, I'm pretty sure they're dead. So even though we lost... Whimsicott turn one, like, this is great. Um, I guess they could have Sturdy on their arch, which would survive a hit. Also, I'm not certain Dragonite dies in one hit because of multi-scale, although once again, we are Terra Dark with choice specs and Beads of Ruin. <laughs> so they're staying in. I do, th I, I feel confident that this was, that this is going to kill them. And if it doesn't, there's a chance we flinch them. Yeah, Chiyu's great. Chiyu's in a great position in this meta. It's just hard because it's not super fast, so there's a lot of Pokemon that can outspeed it. There we go, yep. Clean one-hit KO. But if you can if you can get into a position where you can click pretty much any like Dark Pulse or one of your fire moves, like there are there are a few things that can take it on. They go into Arch. I am not afraid of this, unless they have Terra Fairy, which is honestly uh potential. Uh that's a that's a possibility for sure. Personally, I love to run uh, Terra Fairy on my Archelodon, but we'll see if they do too. If they don't, I mean, we either one-hit KO them or we take them down to that sturdy. Wow. That is great. Sturdy, okay, okay. See what they go for. It could be just Draco Meteor. Uh, I might live this. I do live this. Perfect. Now, let's see. Who else do they have? Or who do I have? I guess that's what I was looking at. Oh, okay, okay. This is looking like a good situation for us. We knock them out here. I believe Tailwind ends here, though. If they if their last Pokemon's Dundazo, I think I just win. Um, if it's Dragonite, that's going to be a lot more tricky. <laughs> yeah. Tailwind petered out. Basically, if, if I outspeed their last Pokemon, I'm pretty sure I win. Unless it's Dragonite, then they have uh, Extreme Speed. All right, they've got that Flutter main. There's no reason for me to switch here. They're going to be faster than me. And they're going to they're basically going to kill me for free here cuz there's no way that they're slower than me and then of course they just go Moonblast. Yeah. I feel like Moonblast is I, this is not a, a 100%, but like I think it's like 99.9 .9 something percent of Flutter mains have Moonblast. It's like a guaranteed move. 
Even Shadow Ball, like not every not every Fluttermane runs Shadow Ball. All right, well, here's the big moment. Uh, I mean, I, I just click Flash Cannon, see what happens. If they're Terra Fairy, I could win right here. Because then they can't save themselves with a Terra or Stellar Terra. I'm guaranteed to live a hit from them. So, yeah, we'll see. I believe I max special attack and max speed. I think a timid nature, maybe modest. There's the Terra. If they're Terra water or something, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Although, I'm not guaranteed to like, live Terra fire. That is that is just as bad as Terra water because they do resist uh, flash cannon in, in that case. If by some miracle I take less than half damage from Moonblast, which of course is not gonna happen, yeah. Dang, all right, we tried. Actually, maybe Jaboka Berry, um, Maybe it's not if I faint they get damage. Maybe if it's I get if I get hit with a physical move. Probably that. Yeah, maybe I was wrong when I introduced it. Because as you can see, they didn't take any damage there. But that was that was a rough one. Once again, we're losing to Fluttermane. I need to get better. I mean, obviously this person built this team and they got top 16 with it. So given how prevalent Fluttermane is, you know they encountered a lot of Fluttermane. So obviously the person who made this team knows what to do against Fluttermane, and I'm just not getting that right <laughs> um so another l with this team but uh you know that doesn't mean the team is bad i think it it could just mean that of course i'm not super experienced with it and of course once again um the person who made it knows all the ins and outs that's why they did so well with it so it could just be like like if i play it enough maybe i'll get the hang of it but anyways let's try another one see how it goes all right we have another l i mean we have another game here <laughs> Uh, my opponent's running a Mono Dragon team. Pretty cool. Pretty cute, if you ask me. I don't have much Fairy coverage. Of course, I do have one Fairy type, but it's not offensive. It does look like a decent lead. I feel like they're probably going to lead with uh, Dragapult. Though, to be honest, my opponent's team is kind of scary. Each of their individual Pokemon has some traits that could make it really annoying or really scary to face. Excuse me, to face... I like Urshi, honestly. Urshi hates uh, Como. Como is a big problem here, but Urshi's really good at getting a lot of damage off on all of the other Pokemon. I kind of want to lead with it, if I'm being honest. Well, here's the other thing, because I do like um, Whimsicott as well, because I have Moonblast, but also Leech Seed is nice. Encore can be really good here. The, the thing is... Hmm... The thing is, Aloma Mola also looks really good here. Like, it just tanks hits really well. But honestly, no, I think... I guess the last question is, do I want Chi Yu or Dragonite? Oh no, I'm running out of time. Alright, we're going to bring these two for sure. And then I might regret this, but I'm going to bring Dragonite. I am Terra Steel, obviously. I mean, it's, it's a weird situation because it's like... Dragonite is a dragon, and my opponent's team are all dragons, so we're both super effective against each other, but um, I think Dragonite looks okay here, because I am Terra Steel, so like I could catch them off guard by going Terra, and then if they're hitting me with a Dragon-type move, then I resist it, so we'll see how it plays out. Uh, we're, not, we're not doing so well with this team so far. They lead Dragapult, which I like. I should be faster with this Choice Scarf. Um, I'm just going to fire off that Wicked Blow right away. The only Pokemon that I'm worried about coming in on the Wicked Blow is, of course, that Komoo, because Komoo does resist it because it's a fighting type. Aside from that, they don't have a good switch into this. And if they stay in, they could very well be dead unless they're Focus Ash. Yep, we fire off that Wicked Blow right away, and that's a clean one-hit KO. That's a great start here. Perfect. Um, yeah, Urshi, Dark Urshi is really good. Um, it's very, very good. I guess technically Ur uh, Water Urshi is better, obviously, because it has way more usage, but I think there's something to be said about using Dark Urshi, and, and when the opponent sees Urshifu on the team preview, they don't know which one it is. My opponent goes into Flygon here. Interesting choice. If they're Choice Scarf, they will outspeed me, but I'm just not really afraid of this. Unless they're Terra Dark, which, why would you run Terra Dark on Flygon? Or I guess they could be Terra Fairy, which would make a little more sense. Um, they are also going to take massive damage, unless they're Choice Scarfed as well. Uh, wow, okay. Dragon Dance. Ooh, okay, I see. If they're Adamant... 
they're adamant they're probably still faster than me. There's a chance I am faster, though, if they don't have max speed investment. Because Flygon is naturally faster than... Wow. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, here we go. Urshifu sweep. I'm taking it. Honestly, if that's what this game ends up being, I'm still going to keep it in. Because <laughs> we just had two pretty... The first loss was close. The second loss was kind of close. Um, but this... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to take this. Uh, okay. This is honestly one of the more tricky Pokemon that my opponent could have. Uh, they could be... They could be Terra Fairy, as I've been saying. Let's start with a Wicked Blow and just see what happens. All right, I was going to Terra, and maybe I should have. Let's see what they do. Okay, so they are Stamina. And they go Electro Shot. Okay, do they have Power Herb? If I die here, that would actually kind of suck. Yeah, they do have Power Herb. Or actually, yeah, they do. They do. <laughs> I could die here. I guess what I'm... What, oh, never mind. Wow, they're just leftovers. Um, Given that they have leftovers, I was actually just about to Terra, and I think I would have knocked them out. Whatever, I'm doing that. They're not going to have, like, Recover or something. So we do this, and then they're going to fire off that Electro Shot. And then at that point, I think we can just go into Dragonite and finish them off with whatever move we want, I guess. I don't know, actually... This could be this could be a mistake on my part. This this might kill. Oh, okay, cool. I'll take that. So we finally get a W with this team. Nice. And it looked good doing it. I mean, this this Sir Shifu dominated that game. It just completely swept them. Um, I don't think they were prepared for that. But that's what happens when you run monotype teams. Monotype teams are cute and they're fun. Um, but yeah. Sometimes they can be disastrous like that, where if you're not prepared for some Pokemon, like, you just get wicked blown. <laughs> well, that sounds weird. I didn't mean... <laughs> That's why I hesitated before I said it. Anyways, let's take another quick look at the team. And there we have the team again. This is, a, this is definitely a good team. I can see why. You know, obviously a lot of thought was put into it. And I probably said this before, sometimes when I use other people's teams that they made, even if the team is really good and I know it's really good and the person performed really well with it, personally, I don't always end up doing quite as well with it because I just, if it doesn't match my play style, then I'm like not used to doing like the, like playing the ins and outs of the team and stuff like that. But this team was definitely good. I have a newfound respect for Whimsicott in Battle Stadium singles, and I wouldn't be surprised if if, or, or you shouldn't be surprised if you see me using this exact Whimsicott set on a future team. Um, Aloma Mola is also really good, but it doesn't feel like my playstyle. I know I always complain when I play against it, because it's just super tanky, it's so hard to take down. Um, and yeah, like there were situations in this game where I didn't know exactly what to do with it, but it is still a very good Pokemon, very tanky. It's really interesting too, because it's like not a Pokemon that you would think would be pretty good in this meta, but... Turns out it is. <laughs> there aren't a lot of good, uh, like, electric-type Pokemon in the meta right now, so that's a big a big reason for that. Um, and there are a lot of physical attackers in the meta, which Alomomola is very good against. So, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'll probably use this team again. It was a fun team, was a very strong team. Urshifu was great as well. Chiyu was amazing. Like, yeah, I, I definitely like the team, so... If you want to try it out, you've got the team code right there. Feel free to try it out and let me know how you do. Maybe you'll perform a lot better with it than I did, and, and I'd be excited to see that. Um, once again, I'll put all the information about the team, like the Poke Paste, as well as the the write-up that the person did who made the team. It, once again, it is in Japanese, so you're going to have to tran it, it, you're going to have to use Google Translate to understand some of it. Though, like I said, uh, Google Translate is not the best. <laughs> Either way, great team. Uh, even though I lost a couple of those battles, you know, again they were very close. And the first one, it felt like. You know, I made some decent decisions. There were probably a couple points where I could have made better plays. But either way, that was fun. Oops. I don't know why that happened. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Please do leave a like and subscribe for more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet videos. I really appreciate all the support. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will see you in the next one.